welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be curling my hair and I literally never do that. I did a video on it, but it wasn't like step by step, like, you know. So in today's video, I am going to be doing that. And I recently got my hair dyed like a month ago in the beginning of December. And my hair is actually getting really long. So let's just jump right into the video also guys be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel join the family okay let's just jump right into the video step number one what you're gonna need is literally like a curling iron and i just have this one i don't know where i got it i think i got it from the mall for like heat protectant i usually use huh for heat protection protector, this one, I will leave the link down below if you guys have any, like, if you guys want to buy it or something. But it's pretty good. I've been using it since I was literally, like, 13, so. You're going to want to have a scrunchie. Bella, do you have a scrunchie? Yeah. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to spray this in. Okay. That just got in my eye. You're going to want to brush out your hair. So there's no like knots or any tangles. And then you're gonna wanna section your hair. So I, I don't know. I usually don't section my hair, but I'll section my hair today. And I usually just do it from like the middle of my head. Or you don't have to do this step, you could just straight up just curl your hair. But this is just to make it a lot easier. And then you're gonna wanna section it in the front. Honestly, I don't even know how I curl my hair. But I just go, I grab a section and I basically go like this. You guys will see. I think it's, yeah, it's hot. So let me just grab a section from here okay like that and then I'll just hold this in for about 10 to 15 seconds and then just kind of hold it in and then drop it so it just looks like that since i don't like my curls to be super tight what i'll do is i'll kind of like loosen them up a bit like you don't want to just like eh, you know just rip them up but you just kind of want to loosen them up a little bit i'm gonna take another section and just do the same thing Okay, we're literally almost there. Just kidding. This side is all done. And if you guys want, you can go back and just like make your curls more like firm in a way. And on this side, I'm just grabbing a section of hair and I'm just putting it like this. The way I curl my hair, I do it all the same. You guys can see this on. I do my curls all one way. I don't go one way in, one way out. I just go like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, I don't know. You guys probably understand because you guys are watching how I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So instead of putting the curler behind the hair, I put it forward, like in front of it, and I just curl it. And then you're just going to want to break it up. This is 
what your curls should look like i like to have them all the same direction in a way does that make any sense I don't know, I just feel like it looks better. It doesn't look like one side is higher than the other one or one side is like more volumized or just looks uneven. Okay. I'm gonna pull down more here. I'm gonna brush out this side. And same with this one. And we're just gonna do the same steps we did. So grab a section. And you don't want your sections to be too thin because I feel like the thinner the section is, the thinner your curl will be. So I'm just going in. Is that what I do? Sometimes when I'm curling my hair, I literally like forget on how to curl it and I'm like, dude, what am I doing? Do you guys ever feel that way? I don't know, it's probably just me. I kind of let it like cool down in my hand. So moving on to the next side, we're just gonna do the same thing. When you're doing these front parts, you wanna make sure that you're curling it at the same kind of like, what is it called, like the same length. Your hair so far should look like this. It should be really, really wavy and soft and angelic looking. Taking the last section of my hair. Just gonna bring this to the front and I'm gonna brush it out. And the reason why I'm like shaking it is because I don't want the hair to become so stiff. I want it to look more like fluffy in a way. Okay, now moving on to this side, we are just gonna do the same thing. Now that our hair is all curled, I like to grab like some hairspray and just spray a little bit on the edges so it stays a little bit put together. And right here, because my head has little baby hairs and I just want them to go down. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little bit of hairspray on the top, like not too much. Like I literally, you don't need a lot of hairspray. Leave a comment down below. What do y'all think about these curls? And did this video help you out in any way? Let me know if you guys used my technique. And also if you guys want, you can always like volumize it, just tease it a little bit, do whatever you want with it. If you guys want, you can brush them out to look a little bit more softer, more natural just a little bit you don't want to like tug on them too hard i hope you guys enjoyed this video leave a like down below be sure to subscribe i'll see you guys later bye